Yo, welcome to the Jalen channel, man. Go on and like this video because if you like this video, Tiana Trump is going to appear in your room, put the hair up in a bun, and get the straight business. No cap. Uh, today we're talking about Rainbow Six Siege, man. I told myself I'll be getting back into gaming commentaries. A lot of weird stuff has been going on with me and YouTube lately. So, you know, I, I, I high key fell out of love with this shit. But deep down inside, bro, I am a content creator. So. I gotta get back on the grind, man. But anyways, bro, we're talking about Rainbow Six Siege and why it's dying. This is all my opinion, by the way. If you have a different opinion, please keep that dicky and that shit to yourself. Don't even comment your fucking opinion. I don't want to hear about it. Anyways, bro, Rainbow Six Siege is dying for multiple reasons, but we're going to be talking about, you know, just the one that it, it sticks out, bro. It sticks out every single time that it fucking shows its head. Is the Rainbow Six Siege's team like their balancing philosophy? Um, pretty much Ubisoft has never been able to balance a fucking multiplayer video game that has PvP. Um, Ubisoft PvP experiences, there's always some goofball shit going on, and there's always a goofball change coming. Don't ever think there's not a goofball change coming because it's on the fucking way. But um, Ubisoft has shown over and over and over again that the max rank in the Ubisoft employee room is gold 2 and not rank 1.0 gold 2 like rank 2.0 gold 2 and actually gold 2 is way too fucking high we're gonna say like copper 5 is like the highest fucking rank in the room because every goddamn change is goofy every change is fucking goofy um right now probably the, probably the one that just stands out the most right to me is the g3 c nerf Vertical recoil increased, horizontal recoil increased. The 3360 is not an unfair gun. It's not an unfair gun and it never has been. It was a reason why people were originally picking Ashes R4C over it. And it's a reason why people are starting to pick the R4C over it now on her. It's because it's not like a fucking godly gun. It's a good gun. It's a fucking shooting game. Why the fuck shouldn't there be good guns? Why on earth... <laughs> Why on earth should a character like Ana, who has a great gadget, who has a great, strong, useful gadget, that she's a fucking, you know, she's damn near, she's a fragging op, an intel gathering, fragging op. Why wouldn't she have a, a pretty good gun? Um, They say that Ash and Ana have made a G360, the weapon with the highest kill death ratio on attack. That alone is the issue. It is a strong weapon in the hands of operators dedicated to kills, but the difference between this weapon and other high KDR weapons in the game is too high. To who? It's too high to you niggas. It's not too high to nobody in the fucking community. Who in the community was like really bitching about the G36E? Like who died of that weapon and started fucking boohoo and whining? To move on from this weapon, the SMG11, base stats, damage reduced from 32 HP from 35. I mean, bro, what? Who fucking cared about the SMG11? Shit got like 17, 16 shots. Who cared? It's a good gun. It's a good gun that you can win max like two gunfights with. You know, you might get real fraggy, real doom, doom, doom. You know, you... you 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 can get real glitchy with that motherfucker, but it's like, come on, bro. You ain't even got a, you ain't even got that much in the mag, bro. It's like it's like it's like the fucking um the P10, bro. Like you like good for one or two gunfights, dude. It's not that good. It's not that good of a gun to get fucking nerfed, and then not only nerfed, but like nerfed like what fucking eight years later. Like, what the fuck be going on out of all the changes that could have possibly been made? That's what they think about. And this is what they use the fucking test server for. They use the test server for this. Come on with the shit, bruh. You are tripping. This is what they use. It. It's mad shit motherfuckers want them to use the test server for. Like, you know, making it so that you can, can't get uh, one shot headshotted by certain weapons or through certain walls. You know, make it so that it's a two shot headshot type of thing. We could have, we could have used, you know, we could have used this shit for that. We could have used the test server for that, but instead we gonna nerf guns again. We gonna nerf guns again. They nerfed IQ's 552 once they gave her the frag grenades. After they nerfed frag grenades, just a lot, listen to what I'm fucking saying. They nerfed IQ's 552 commando 
a decent gun. It's not a fucking crazy gun. They nerfed the fucking damage on it once they gave her nerfed frag grenades. And people were asking for IQ to have frag grenades forever. This is actually a community thing that motherfuckers were yelling about. Like, bro, just give her the fucking frags back. Give her the frags back. Or, or give her EMPs or something. G- give her something good. They're going, like, all right. This is what Ubisoft says. They're like, all right, nigga. All right, nigga. You're, you're a bitch in the morning all the time. All right, nigga. Here. Here, nigga. Damn. Here's a grenade that fucking sucks now. And here's a nerfed weapon. Who fucking thought of that? That doesn't even make sense. Why nerf the 552? It wasn't that good. I promise you it wasn't that good. Um, Ubisoft time and time again shows us that whoever is in charge of balancing ain't make it out of bronze two. He's struggling. Every damn match at bronze two is a fight to the death. It's an absolute brawl, an absolute war. He ain't having no success in that damn match. That ELO is hell for him. He's struggling. But just because that sorry ass nigga struggling don't mean keep fucking with the game. But just because that sorry ass nigga struggling don't mean keep fucking the game hard, bro. Stop fucking the game hard just because you suck, bro. And if that's not the case, if that's not what's going on, then I I mean, somebody need to let me fucking know. Because I am confused. I'm confused by every goddamn change. Another another change I'm confused about is Ace's Selma getting nerfed. I mean, bro, um, the fuse time being increased from 3.2 seconds to 4 seconds. I mean, what? The, first of all, that doesn't change shit. Doesn't change shit. Still a very safe, low risk, high reward gadget to use. If they were going to actually make a downside to the aces, then, you know, that wasn't it. That ain't do shit. And then, you know, to justify the changes or I guess to explain their thought processing on the changes is they're just talking about the fact that, you know, Ace's gadget is safe and it is pretty fucking safe compared to all the other hard breaching. And it does have a high reward compared to all the the other hard hard breaching. Of course, uh, Thermite is better for like getting the whole wall. That will always be his thing. Why not just buff Thermite, Habana, and Maverick if you, you know, you feel like the fucking downside to Ace's gadget is too bad. Why not buff them? Why not buff some fucking characters? Make them more fun. Why does it always have to be, oh, wow, people are having fun on this character? Oh, wow, this is a character that the community seems to like a lot? Why do they always get touched? Always. And, you know, I understand changing up the meta to change up the game. But, man, the way that is done at Siege is, like, really fucking weird, bro. And on top of that, bro, I, I do want to talk about that grenade change because we really ain't talk about that on this channel. But, dude, I do agree that getting killed from below, absolutely no fucking counter and absolutely no fucking way of knowing. I think that is a pretty lame death because a pre-placed nitro can be spotted. A pre-placed nitro can be heard. A cook grenade from below, buddy. You're finna be spectating. There's nothing. There's 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 fucking nothing you could have did, pal. You're finna fucking die. All right, pal. There's nothing you could have did. But I don't like how long it is to explode. And you have to remember that they nerfed the actual AOE of frag grenades. So them shits is just fucking utility clear. You feel me? That's your utility clear. Oh, well, if you bounce it off a wall, it makes the fuse short. Shut up, bro. God damn, bro. Shut up. What did I tell you, niggas? If you have different opinions, keep that dicking and shit to yourself. But, um, uh, I don't like the, how these niggas balance. I don't like a lot of shit about seeds, but we're just going to keep it on balance today. That's it for y'all.